Hey, Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. I pitch yeast today. Cool beans. It's glubbing. It's going well. Um, but I, I ran into a problem and I want to share it with you. And that was the vinyl tubing that I was using to take the CO2 fermentation gas away. Um, I was getting tremendous back pressure, way more than I expected with half inch tubing. And it's gas, not liquid, and very low volume. I, I couldn't figure out why. And when I looked at that tubing, and to be specific, this is the type of tubing I'm talking about, the clear stuff. It was pinching. And this room is running around 60 degrees. I turned the heat off now that fermentation started. And every pinch in the tube was reducing the diameter, inside diameter of the tube. And the fermentation tank was swelling. And when I popped off one connector, I mean, tremendous amount of gas was coming out. The next tank, same thing. And it came down to the tubing. Um, it wasn't that the in, uh, inside diameter was wrong. It's that the inside diameter was not staying constant. It was pinching a little here and a little there. So I ended up taking racking tubing, which is three quarter inch, larger stuff. And I'm using that to vent and you might be able to hear it. It's working brilliantly. So I would say to you, I really believe in the whole idea of capture your CO2. And if you're not capturing it or why you're capturing it, get it out of the space. Um, you don't need to have an exhaust fan, just provide a manifold to transport, to carry the CO2 out of the space. Uh, fewer headaches, you won't feel so crummy. Um, all in all, it's a, it's a better way to do business. I, I don't have much else besides that. Uh, I put in a lot of Fairmaid, I put in a lot of yeast, stirred it all up. It started on that tank, my other tanks, the Spidels, I don't see them lifting up yet. So all in good time. That's it for now. Take care. Bye-bye.